Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with a follow-up video to how I store my Bath & Body Works products. I did it at the request of somebody who commented on a previous video and I was actually quite pleased with how popular that that video seemed to be. So um, I also had another person ask me to share how I store my candles. So I'm just going to bring that to you today. So just like my um, Bath & Body Works body products, I don't feel like it's really that exciting, but this is how I do it. So I'm currently looking at a cabinet that is above my refrigerator. I keep all of my Bath & Body Works candles and really all my candles um, in my kitchen when they're not being used. And just like with my body care items, I am particular about um, how I organize things. So when I first moved into my apartment back in July, this cabinet was totally full. So the way that it's set up is that it is um, two uh, stacks, I guess, deep. And then there are seven across. So um, when I moved here, I want to say I had maybe like 41 or 42 candles, something kind of like that. And now I'm down to 28. So when I burn candles, I take them out of the cabinet and I burn all the way through. Like it's kind of like how I use my body care items. I use a product all the way through. I do not burn it and then put it back. Like once I take it out, like it's done and I'm just committing to it. So that's why you see um, all of these are unused. They are, I wouldn't say new, but yeah, I haven't burned or used any of these before. So they are in their, I guess, original state, if that makes sense. Um, so also I only purchased two candles in the entire fall season. I picked up an autumn and also a cider lane because I burn those every year and I didn't have one, but for the rest of my fall candles, I have just been using what I had last year that I just never burned. So that's why there's also a significant decrease in, at least like I'm aware of it, there's a significant de decrease between what I have now and the full cabinet that I had when I first moved in. So it's pretty satisfying how well these candles fit in. And, um, you know, even though I had a ton of candles when I first moved to Kansas City, um, it was kind of nice to um, at least have the aesthetic of a full cabinet, but it is nice also to know that I am using up my candles, I'm appreciating them, and I am in a way getting my cabinet ready for candle day, which is in just a couple of weeks. So uh, with that, let's get into how I store my candles. So I really store them um, by like fragrance, and at least in my mind when I use the fragrance, at least for the most part. So. As you can see, I have a ton of coconut lime verbena. So you guys know that I have a lot of them. So I do have um, two stacks of them and then one more up here. Behind that, I have some other spring items. So my white gardenia um, and also my marshmallow fluff candle. Speaking of stacking like items, I do have two pineapple mangoes. Um, I like to burn those uh, in the winter actually, like in January when I kind of need a pick me up and I like to burn them into spring. Southern Magnolia is one I picked up over the summer that I just haven't burned yet. And again, I'm still storing like items together. So I have my two blends of market peach and strawberry pound cake with a strawberry pound cake. So I have one more kind of random pink apple punch. I'm actually currently burning one of them, um, but I do have a second. And again, these are very spring-like items that I have. So my market peach and Prosecco and peaches. So. It might seem like maybe some of this is out of place a little bit, but I do have a kind of method to my madness here. Um, in addition, I have things I like to burn in uh, winter. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of winter stuff just because I am holding out for candle day unless there's some like incredible candle deal before the first Saturday of December, which I very highly doubt. I don't see myself purchasing any candles before candle days, but I do have a few left over from last year or a few in general that I do like to burn in the winter. So of course my fresh balsam, I'm a big fresh balsam person. I love it. Um, I have my blend of pineapple mango and fresh balsam. Again, I know it seems really weird, but because I like to burn pineapple mango during the winter anyway, I kind of wanted to pick one up just for, um, you know, the sake of having it, like I am going to burn through it. I, as you guys know, if you follow me, um, I don't keep items for the sake of keeping them, like I have them to use. Um, so eventually I will use that pineapple mango and fresh balsam blend. So we'll see how it um, 
actually kind of turns out in reality. I have a tea rose from last year that I just never got around to. Tea rose, again, is just something that I like to burn in the winter when I'm just tired of um, cold and dreary and whatever. It just kind of lifts my spirits. And then here for the right hand side of my cabinet is things that I just generally like to burn in the fall and just around this time of year. Um, I've, you know, like I said, made a really good uh, dent in my fall items, but I still have a few more to go. So a marshmallow fireside from last year, one more blueberry maple pancake, sweater weather, perfect autumn. I love the perfect autumn for November. So that will definitely be in my November candle empties once I uh, post it in about a month. Blueberry pie, I know that Bath & Body Works likes to market that for the spring and summer, but I actually really love blueberry for the fall. Um, so I do keep that around with my fall stuff. And then warm vanilla sugar and cinnamon spice vanilla, I think are really good ones for both the fall and winter because especially the cinnamon spice vanilla, like I'm really not a pumpkin spice person, but I do love to have um, that going just because I think the vanilla really um, like smooths it out and makes it really nice and a lovely fragrance. So again, it's not that exciting for me. I do organize this quite nicely and there's a certain way that I like to do it. I like the aesthetic of having it out so where I can see it and look at it whenever I want to pull a new candle. Um, but yeah, this is it. I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, just like I will probably do an update in about six months or so with how I store my Bath & Body Works products. You can also imagine that I will do an update for how I store my candles in about six months or so because I am enjoying um, creating these videos for you and I know that you guys are liking it too. So with that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron. I'll put that down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.